15 News. The Durham 911 call center has lost two more operators in the last two weeks, which means almost 40% of the positions are vacant. Good evening. I'm Angela Taylor. I'm Rod Carter. Thanks for joining us. For months, this shortage has impacted call pickup times and response to emergencies. New tonight, some internal emails CBS 17 has obtained shows that the 911 call center recently asked the already stretched thin police department if their officers could help out at the call center. CBS 17's Crystal Price has more now for us. Yes, I've been looking through those emails all day today. In these emails, it shows there's clearly still a problem with staffing at the Durham 911 call center as they've had to reach out to another department for help. That department also short staffed. In this email, CBS 17 obtained through an open records request. Randy Beeman, director of Durham's Emergency Communications Center, asked the interim chief, Sherry Montgomery, if any police staff would be available to work at the 911 call center. Center. In this reply to him, Interim Chief Montgomery says that she really doesn't have the staff to pull. She says the Durham Police Department has 91 vacancies, saying we are barely covering our beats and only running 50% staffing. <laughs> CBS 17 has previously reported on the shortage of Durham police officers and how it's led to an increase in police response times. We don't have as many cars available or patrol or staffing available. In other emails CBS 17 obtained, the directors of the Durham Emergency Communications Center sent an email to staff offering 911 operators double time for hours worked in overtime. They say they're working to train more 911 operators at a time to fill the vacancies, but they say they need other measures to address the high volume of calls their center is experiencing. In another email between the interim chief of police and deputy city manager Bo Ferguson, one retired police officer proposed the idea to hire retired officers to answer non-emergency calls. Montgomery said in the email she had met with emergency communications about using retired or reserve officers to take police reports over the phone. CBS 17 reached out to the city to see if this is something they are planning to move forward with, but we have not heard back. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. Now, new data released by the city of Durham shows that 911 calls pickup times improved in recent months. They went from answering 76% of calls in August in 15 seconds to 84% of calls in 15 seconds in September, but they are still falling short of the national standard, which is to answer 90% of calls in that time. FEMA is helping ease the workload of Wake County EMS.